Okay, so let's see if we can do this one real fast. It's nice and easy. It's We're just going to be doing the um, trigonomic ratio. So sine, cosine, tangent. Um, that's the name of the topic right up there. It's real easy. You're not going to have any problems at all. You need to have this in your notes right here. Okay, that absolutely must be in your notes because that's all you need. All right, so have that in your notes. And let's re remind ourselves which what is what. So if we're talking about angle X right here, okay? So angle X is right here. That means the opposite one, the opposite side is going to be C. The adjacent side is going to be A. And then the hypotenuse will be B. And that is because the hypotenuse is always opposite the 90. The adjacent one, I always like to think of it as adjacent and attached. They both start with A. So um, the adjacent sides will be the one that's attached to the angle that we're talking about which in this case is x opposite well it's it's fairly so it's opposite it's the one opposite of the angle so we're talking about angle x the opposite side is c so that goes to the famous saying everybody probably has heard this before so so it's ka and then the toa you may want to write that on the top of your paper that makes sense. So what that means, so katoa, that's S is for sine, O is for opposite, H is for hypotenuse, so opposite over hypotenuse. C is for cosine, A is for adjacent, and H is for hypotenuse, so that's cosine is equal to adjacent divided by hypotenuse. Um, and then tangent of an angle is going to be opposite over adjacent, okay? So that's all you need to know, so katoa. So they're going to ask you, hey, what is sine of X? What is cosine of x? What is tangent of x? And it's going to be really easy to answer this. All you're going to do is go, so for cos for sine, you'll go back to the so, so, which means opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite in our case is c. So that's going to be c divided by hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is b, so b. OK, c over b is your answer cosine opposite or I'm sorry adjacent over hypotenuse adjacent is going to be a hypotenuse is still b so it's a over b so a over b and then the last one tangent oh, that's I'm sorry that's supposed to be tangent that's supposed to be tangent okay so tangent is going to be opposite which is c divided by adjacent which is a so it's c over a and then we're done okay so there's your answers right here. It's uh, C over A, A over B, C over A. Okay? That's all there is to it. All right. Have fun.